The crowd here at the WMAC arena is still shocked by Tsunami's inappropriate and possibly illegal action at the end of his match with Yin Yang Men. Word from the officials is that Richard Brandon is okay. And if the council takes no action against he and Nguyen, he'll head for the Battle Dome to face the winner of our next match. A match that's about to begin. Now entering the World Martial Arts Council Arena, Willie Johnson, King Symbol, The Bam, Martial Arts Discipline, Wushu. Second match of the day takes place at Doom City. It's Warlock versus the Band. The winner will take on Tsunami. It, it looks, looks like the council, council will allow his victory, victory to stand. What do you think you were doing? They haven't issued Nothing. It wasn't personal. It's plain stupid, huh? You don't deserve the win. I just got caught up in the heat of the moment, all right, man? Hey, hey, it's cool. It's cool. You apologize to you? Yeah. You're right? I'll live. You blindsided you, right? <sighs> yeah, something like that. Like our first match, this will be a showdown between Wushu and Kung Fu, Larry Lamb's discipline. Warlock, Dragon Belt, Status, 4. <laughs> the Bam, Dragon Belt, Status, 5. Doom City Ninjas, begin. The rules are the same as our first match. The ninjas, all trainees from the WMAC Academy, will test the athletes' abilities. The council is scoring the competitors for overall technique, clean hits, and defensive ability. Get hit or be sloppy, and the power bar goes down. with the ninjas. Warlock's power bar is already way down. The ninjas put up a great fight, but the Bam holds on for a win over Warlock. Willie Johnson has a definite advantage going into the Battle Dome against Tsunami. Most of the crowd will be rooting for the BAM. It seems Tsunami doesn't have many fans in the arena today due to his cheap shot against Richard Brandon. We'll be back with the finals right after this. You know, I never really realized how much Richard favored that left side. You think it's all because he can't set up his right eye? You know what? That would definitely explain why I didn't see you on Tsunami's cheap shot now, wouldn't it? Yes, it certainly would. I'm half blind, not deaf, guys. In fact, since my accident, my hearing's twice as good. Accident? What accident? 
You see, I've been practicing martial arts ever since I was a kid. By the time I was seven, I was competing in tournaments all over the country. Some kids wanted to grow up to be doctors, or baseball players, or astronauts. I just wanted to be a martial artist. I enjoyed the martial arts more than anything. I practiced all the time. And I won just about every competition I entered. My parents were very proud of me. I felt like I was on the road to success. Little did I know my dreams were about to come crashing down. The driver ran a red light. He was drunk. And my dad didn't make me wear a seatbelt. Two wrongs didn't make a right. I lost the sight in one of my eyes. But even worse, I lost my confidence. I asked the doctor if I would still be able to practice martial arts. He said yes, but things might be harder. I was scared, too scared to ever try the martial arts again.